Health officials are considering isolation at home for positive COVID-19 patients who present no or mild symptoms. There is growing concern that the respiratory hospital may reach its limit as the health ministry receives more and more positive cases on a daily basis. Some are also worried about the burden on healthcare workers and resources with the spike in cases. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says soon only severe or critically ill COVID-19 patients will be admitted for clinical care. 80% of persons with COVID-19 are mild to moderate. So the thinking is, once we get to a certain um, number of cases, a certain um, stage of the outbreak, mild to moderate cases, once they have the capacity for um, isolation at home, they will be allowed to stay and the priority will be for um, our more severe and moderate cases who actually need um, hospital care. Medical officials have conducted contact tracing at schools, supermarkets, aircraft, bars, sporting teams and gyms. Chief epidemiologist Dr. Michelle Francois says contact tracing is a lengthy process as it entails comprehensive investigations to establish links between cases. A range of criteria determine whether an individual is a contact or close contact. So it depends on um the establishment, the number of persons there, how many persons are in the office per square, square footage. Um, you also look at for close contacts, whether they were using masks. You look at the distance, whether they were six feet apart or not. You look at also the level of interaction, whether there was any physical interaction, whether it was over 15 minutes of face time. So there are different um, parameters that we look at in terms of assessing what a contact with to make that determination of who needs to be in quarantine and who needs to get tested. The health ministry will revert to previous phases of its gradual approach to reopening the country if 50 new cases are recorded in 14 days. This will see the scaling back on higher-risk non-essential services, including social gatherings. Working remotely from home also falls into that bracket. Mass crowd activities, boat rides, parties which we've already reduced, the community activities um, within the, the various communities. We've also closed schools temporarily. The other activities which would follow would be the, the work from home as much as possible, limiting crowds, and the number 50 can go to a lot less. Some of the other high-risk activities which would facilitate the quicker transmission of the, of the virus. So we would then look back at what, what activities we had, for example, the cinemas, the bars, these are the higher risk activities for transmission, which we would scale down um, first. The chief medical officer remains adamant on the adherence to protocols to minimize chances of spreading the virus. The school, the supermarket, the, the hotel, the aircraft, the football team, um, we have not been able to um, notice a level of transmission. And that is to say the protocols work in the areas which adhere to the protocols, transmission is low or none. As compared to the gym, where we noted many breaches in, in the protocol, we were able to get multiple cases coming out of, of that one establishment. So we really want to appeal to both the public and the private sector to ensure adherence to those protocols, because from um, what we've noticed when we do the necessary follow-up, the places that adhere to we get very few cases coming out of a positive which may be there. Age range of the COVID-19 positive cases is 3 to 84. Currently, there are 236 persons in quarantine. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.